She's a singer, storyteller, banjo player, and is from just over the border in North Carolina. Now she's coming to Jonesboro to be the resident storyteller this week. We are so excited to have Sheila K. Adams in studio to give us a preview of some of her shows. Thank you so much for being here, oh, well, Sheila. Thank you for having me. It's yeah, great. Yeah, of course. So, first of all, I always ask the storytellers that come on, how would you describe your storytelling style? Well, it's just having conversation. <laughs> I just walk out on stage and start, you know, talking to the audience. Yeah. And so what do you like to talk about? Family stories. Family yeah. stories. Can you give us a little bit of preview? Because I know you are from the area. Uh, you're just over the mountain. We were just kind of talking about that. And so this is something that's so great because a lot of people can relate to it, right? Yeah, well, I, I was born into a, a big family of uncles and aunts. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were all the time sharing family stories. and. And so, and they were all hilarious, mostly. <laughs> and they would all try to out-sick each other, you know, like they would yep. get louder and louder trying to be the one that was the sickest in the whole. These were my aunts that were doing that and my mother. <laughs> but just through that, and, and I started playing banjo when I was seven years old, so I've been playing now for 58 years. Wow. And, uh, which blows my mind. <laughs> but, uh, and, and I've written some songs too, so I'm gonna be doing all that on Thursday evening when I have the show. Wonderful, so, yeah. and it's not just, playing the banjo. It's not just storytelling. It's a mixture of a everything. A mixture of all of it, yeah. yeah. Well, just traditional Appalachian culture. Yeah, that is wonderful. Yeah. And so for people that are coming, like you said, traditional Appalachian uh, culture, for people that are coming to the shows, what do you hope that they get out of them? What I would hope is that they can they can sort of harken back to their own past uh -huh. and when they were younger because I've found out in all my travels, and I've been all around, you know, favorite place is Jonesboro, even above Australia. <laughs> and but. What I try to have them take away is just this sense of place and their people mm -hmm. and home. Yeah, that's wonderful. And so you mentioned that you've traveled all around mm -hmm. the world. How many times have you been here to Jonesboro? I started coming to Jonesboro in 1997. And when they called and asked, I said, uh, well, I'm a musician and a singer. I'm not really a storyteller. Mm -hmm. They said, oh, no, because I'd written a book called Come Go Home With Me, uh -huh. a little storybook, mainly for my children. Mm -hmm. and. Um, they said, no, one of your stories is we've chosen as the most tellable story from a book. And so I came to Jonesboro in 97, and I've been hooked ever since. It, <laughs> it is absolutely the best thing, best festival that yeah. I've ever attended anywhere in this world. You keep coming back, and right? I, every time they'll have me, I'll, I'll be back. Yeah. And so when you are able to talk to people who come to your shows, and just because, especially here, like you said, the Appalachian culture, is it fun to be able to hear kind of their stories and see the similarities as well? It is. And, and what I was going to say a while ago is that it's more rural, mm -hmm. I've found, you know, as I've gone about telling stories. But mountain people have got a certain way about them, you know, a little bit of an edge to them that I don't find anywhere else. A little bit of an edge. You yes. can definitely find that in Jonesboro for yeah. sure. There's a yeah. lot of people that come and that really just love hearing the different stories. And I think it's so unique when someone comes from the kind of their culture as well, just over the state line, That's right? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, Sheila, thank you so much. We really do appreciate it. Make sure you stop by the International Storytelling Center. You can catch Sheila K. Adams. She's this resident storyteller now through Saturday, but she will be having a show Thursday night as well. All you have to do is give the number you see on your screen, a caller, go to storytellingcenter.net to find some more information.